All right, welcome back, everybody. Manjaro has released a new uh, snapshot of uh, their system. It's uh, currently 23.0.4. So we have the ISO on the virtual machine. Let's uh, go ahead and install it and take a look at Manjaro, the latest snapshot. And we have the Calamari's installer that opened up for us. And it's automatically set to American English, so let's click Next. Our location set to Los Angeles, that's correct, let's click Next. Keyboard layout, English, default, let's click Next. Uh, automatically selected erase disk, no swap, click Next. Now let's enter some user info. All right, give it a strong and complicated password. Log in automatically, use the same password for the administrator, click next. And right here we have an option to select uh, which uh, type of office suite we want to install. We could do no office suite, lever office, or free office. I don't think I've ever seen free office, so let's try that one and just see what happens. Click next. Here's an overview of what we are going to install. Click install, install now, and the installation has started. So as typical, this usually takes around five to 10 minutes. So uh, I'll just go ahead and pause it right now. And when I come back, we should be presented by a reboot restart screen. Okay, it is all done now. So we're prompted with the restart screen. I'll uh, go ahead and check that off. Click on done and we should reboot into the new system. We'll probably have to detach the ISO. Yeah, we will. So I'll do that now. All right, the ISO is detached. Let's go ahead and boot in. Alright, and as you can see here, we are booted into our new Manjaro system, and we are greeted by the Welcome to Manjaro, the welcome screen. And on here you have, uh, thank you for joining our community. We, the Manjaro developers, hope that you will enjoy using Manjaro as much as we enjoy building it. The links below will help you get started with your new operating system. So enjoy the experience, and don't hesitate to send us your feedback. And on here we have documentation, readme, release info, wiki, we have support, forum, software, mailing list. And under project we have get involved, development, and donate. Then we also have an application button here. And I'm going to go ahead and tick this so we don't have to uh, see this again if we boot into the system again. Just need it to be a one-time deal. All right, and this is the uh, desktop in all of its glory. The version of Manjaro that I downloaded was the Budgie version. So I've seen XFCE, KDE Plasma, and a few other systems. And uh, I haven't seen Budgie in a while, so that's why I did the uh, Budgie version. So here we are on the Budgie desktop. I believe that Budgie is like a modified uh, GNOME system, but... Uh, it is it is a lot of its own, but it, you know, it has a lot of uh, similar things to GNOME. But as you can see here, we have a bottom panel, and on our bottom panel, we have our system tray. And the first thing we have on our system tray is a uh, notification manager that has a calendar and it has a notification widgets. So in here you have volume rockers, you have applications, devices, play some music. It's quite a few uh, items inside of this notification panel. And then next to that we have our time. So system time and date settings can be opened up from here. And then we also have a volume rocker. So here if you want to turn up the volume, turn it down. I can get to the volume settings. I can mute it. 
all right here from the system from the system tray and then next to that we have our, our single no, uh, notification settings so you can click on widgets or notifications that'll let you know what's going on and the last item is our internet connections which is uh if you had a wi-fi card connected it will show your internet connections right here all right and continuing on the panel we have our pinned items so we have a terminal a uh, file manager and a web browser so let's go ahead and click on our terminal see what terminal we're running here and it is the GNOME terminal version 3.50.1 for GNOME 45 and being on gyro let's see if they did a uh, install each top by default they did not so we can always Install it ourselves. So we'll do HTOP and NeoFetch. All right, that shouldn't take too long. So let's uh, look at our file manager while that installs. And it looks like it already finished installing, but we'll just continue looking at our file manager. And as you can see here, it looks like it is uh, files, the same uh, file manager on, uh, on GNOME. So yeah, files 45.2.1 from the GNOME project. All right, so uh, let's see, this is finished installing, so we'll get back to this. Now we can do HTOP, check out our... Uh, See how much memory we're using. We were at a uh, one gig, one plus gig, but now we're at 830 megabytes. And our CPU is running real low, so that's good also. And we see we have 98 tasks open. So that'll be your processes that are down here. All right, that's each top. Now let's take a look at NeoFetch. And this is NeoFetch, as you can see here, we're running Manjaro Linux. And the kernel here is going to be 6.5.13. And as a desktop in environment, Budgie 10.8.2. Then you have your other basic info, like your uptime, shell, resolution, window manager, theme, icons, terminal, things like that. All right, and the third item pinned to our uh, panel is going to be our web browser, which is Firefox in this case. And the version of Firefox we're using on this one is going to be 120.0.1. All right, so that's your pinned items on Manjaro Budgie. Now let's take a look at our applications menu, which is this button right here. Clicking on it opens up a, it's similar to the whisker menu, Actually, it almost looks identical to it. It looks like a whisker menu. And as you can see, we have the All Applications tab. We have Accessories. We have a Graphics tab. Internet tab. Office tab. Programming tab. Sound and Video tab. And System Tools. Then we have a couple buttons right here. One opens up the Budgie Desktop Settings. One opens up the System Settings. And one is for your logout session manager. All right. So let's see. Uh, under accessories, we have files, fonts, archive managers, calculators. Let's take a look at something that uh, we don't uh, we don't usually see Windows Shuffle Control. So what does this do? I guess it shows you how you can uh, do edge tiling and things like that. Set up layouts window rules even control applets and then you have a miscellaneous tab right here so window shuffle control never never used it before so uh, not exactly sure how it works but uh, i'm pretty sure it has to do with dragging windows to the edge or to the top or to the bottom or 
corner controls, like dragging your mouse to the corner. It can make certain apps open up. All right, and that was in your accessories. Now let's take a look at graphics. We have Jeep Thumb Image Viewer, which is basic image viewer. You'll find this on uh, GNOME. An image viewer and browser for GNOME, Jeep Thumb 3.12.4. And if you had any pictures, you just uh, navigate to your pictures folder, select them, and you can view them on here. And in the internet, we already saw Firefox, which you have other things like a uh, UGET, which is a download manager transmission for your torrents. You have a hex chat and you have some uh, server browsers. Uh, let's take a look at Office and see what uh, free Office. Usually I use uh, LibreOffice, but in this section I download the free office instead because I've never seen it before. So let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Alright, open it full screen. Can I? Uh, I guess it's asking for a layout. I'll just select the first one. Click OK. And there it is. It's opened up so you can actually add some info before you start, but I'm not going to do that. So I just wanted to take a look at it and see what it looks like. Now I'm wondering if they have a, an about page. I don't see it here. Maybe it was there somewhere, but I just didn't wasn't paying attention. Anyways, well, you have a little info right here. It says, welcome to free office. Thank you for choosing free office as a new office suite. Free office is free, friendly, powerful, and compatible with Microsoft Office. This sidebar contains tips and tricks for using free office. It also shows the difference to SoftMaker, SoftMaker Office, the commercial office suite from SoftMaker. All right, has a little bit more information, but, uh, you get the gist of it. Oh, so it has right here like a an option to buy. Ah, oh, there's the about. Free office. It's not really giving me a... Oh, yeah, here it is up here. Well, it doesn't give you like a virgin number or anything like that, but it does have an about, so... All right. And that is free office. And under programming, we just have an icon browser. But we do have uh, sound and video apps. We have Bracero Disc Burner. With Bracero, you can also now copy of, uh, you know, ISO images over onto discs, things like that. Then you have a GNOME CD maker. Then you have Lollipop, which is our audio manager here on. Uh, usually you'll find this on GNOME, but it's also here on uh, Budgie. And on the about, we show Lollipop 1.4.37, a music player for none of them. And if we get back to the sound and video, let's see what else do we have videos. Okay, so yeah, we just have simple video player. And this is videos, also known as Totem. Celluloid, MVP, MPV, or all that, they're all pretty much the same thing. All right, then we got our system tools, which here you have the add remove software. Let's take a look at that since we, uh, we did use the terminal to install some things, but we can also install from here. So let's see, if I wanted to install something, something quick and easy to install. I guess VLC will do. Let's do VLC, click apply. It asks me a couple questions first and then require my password. Okay, so I'll just click on the default. Click on apply, then my password. All right, it's downloading VLC, so it should install it right now and get it set up. 
All right, looks like VLC has finished installing. It's asking for a restart, and I think that's because uh, it did some updates while it was doing that. But uh, before we even restart, let's take a look at VLC. And uh, here you can control your media, open up network stream, capture devices, or just files on your system. Then you have a playback option with a lot of settings. You have your audio settings, your video settings, subtitle settings, your tools, view, and help. And here's what we find you about. And 3.0.20, veterinary. And that's VLC, your media player. All right, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, budgie desktop settings. I wonder if this is we could do some theming. It looks like it is. So let's see widgets. Yeah, you could, yeah. This is what controls your themes right here. So you can do matcha style. Looks like they're all matcha, just different color shadings. Have dark styles, light styles. Then you could also do your icons right here. Like right now we're on papyrus. Papyrus dark actually. They're all uh, papyrus. So we can do a papyrus Maya, papyrus light. Let me open up a file manager. Maybe we can see more changes this way. All right. So on the icons. Got Pepper's Dark, didn't change nothing. And then uh, high color, yeah, see the icon change? We'll just leave it on Pepper's Dark. Then you can change cursor, notification position, dark theme. If you want everything to be a dark theme, see how you just, just change that. And then you can set up built-in themes and animations. Yeah, you can do that all from right here. And that's your theming system. Now, as far as wallpapers, let's see. Budgie desktop settings. Go to that. I'm not seeing anything here about wallpapers, but let's just take a look. All right, so no wallpapers there. Let's go to system settings. Maybe we got wallpapers there. Background, there you go. All right, that makes more sense now. Let me make this just a little bit smaller. All right, so just a simple one click, it'll change the background. Yep. Yeah, so you know, this is the budgie uh, desktop environment, so. Like I said, I'm always looking at XFCE or Plasma, things like that. I really don't see these too much, so it's a good, uh, it's a good change to see something different. And uh, the wallpapers are not that bad, so you know you get the gist of it. All right, well this is a Manjaro Budgie. Like I said, they just released a snapshot a uh, day, day or two ago, so that's why we took a look at it. Uh, if you want to. Check it out yourself. I'll have a homepage and download link in the video description. All right, that's going to do it for me. And I'm out.